what the hell is an aphid? everybody so welcome back to heavy metal vines it's been a couple of weeks talking about maybe three and a half almost four weeks we're approaching a month today is uh, Monday August 5th uh, I've given the uh, vines their monthly dose of 10 10 10 fertilizer uh, and things are progressing well vast majority of my vines are growing strong and the Concord are continuing to do what the Concord do. They, uh, well I'll take you for a walk and you might be able to see, but I already have cordons out my top wire. I have cordons out my top wire and in many instances they're already overlapping. So they're doing fantastic. Niagara's doing well. A um, couple things I wanted to talk to you about today. Number one, Japanese beetles, they continue to be a threat. The seven spray, that works on the Japanese beetle, keeps them off. Bob X deer repellent keeps the deer away from the vines. So uh, I'm not getting any uh, damage to the vines due to the uh, deer and the Japanese beetles. Um, the one thing you do need to be aware of is aphids. Aphids. You watch your vine and you see these uh, little black specks so tiny little black specks at the top of the vine right by the growing tip i didn't know what it was at first it didn't even look like they were alive at first but upon closer examination there was ants all over the place well turns out aphids like the new growth and they're little tiny bugs they're itty, very tiny little bugs and they like the new growth on the vines and they'll bite the vines. And I don't know if it's the vine or if it's the, the discharge from the aphids, but it produces what's called honeydew, and that's what the ants come to eat. So the ants, the, the, the aphids eat the top of the vine, the, 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 the growing shoot, growing uh, tip, and their, their byproduct of that is what draws ants to eat that. So you see the top of your vine just starts to get brown and blah and you look and you see these black dots and here it's a combination of the aphids killing the vine and the ants feeding off of the aphids byproduct. The seven actually seem to work on that too. There's a whole bunch of uh, like holistic ways to do it and stuff like that but I mean I didn't know I was going to be faced with that and I tried the seven and it, 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 it killed them off. It, it drove the aphids away, and then if you take the aphids away, then the ants go away. So that was uh, one of my lessons I learned over the course of the last month. So watch out for aphids and ants, Japanese beetles and deer. <laughs> These poor vines, they are under assault all the time. There is something that wants to eat them or destroy them all the time. You name the, the you name the step in the food chain, something's in there that wants to destroy them. So you do have to watch that. Um, but let's take you a walk around the, the vineyard and uh, show you what we got going on and how things are progressing. All right, we'll grab the phone and we'll take a walk. See you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go for a walk around the vineyard now and show you you know what's going on here. So let's uh, let's spin the camera around here and make it easier on us okay so here's the first of our vines that I bought from Walmart this is Marty you can see that tendril right there see that tendril get rid of it just grab a hold of it be careful not to ruin the growing tip get rid of that tendril and that promotes the growth but I mean Marty has done far better than Wally here's a Niagara again there's a there's a tendril there. You get rid of these tendrils, and they're good. But this Niagara here, he's almost to the top 
top the wire. I'm gonna have to put a, a string here to grum the rest away. Guys, look at this. I got hit by a deer. You bastards. Look at this. Gone. Gone. I got hit by a deer. I'm... Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I purposely didn't spray the Bob X in the last couple of days, but we got a big storm this weekend and probably washed a lot of it away. Damn. So look at this, uh, look at this Niagara. Look how... Man, he is really grown. Look at that. He's... I gotta support him. This guy here, Niagara. Now ready for this, watch these Concords. So here's this Concord, well past the top wire. I got these, I got these cordons growing here. There's a tendril. I really shouldn't be doing this on camera because I'm gonna break off on the growing tips, but all right. But then here, ready? Ho 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 ho. Look at you, cordons. Look at you. All the way down along from here on out. Cordons growing all the way across the wire. Just get him to establish the cordons. And then, look at that. Look at that big, beautiful cordons. I'm telling you, these Concord are amazing. These Concord just rocked it. Rocked it. Yeah. All the way down along there. Cordons. First year. That's pretty impressive. Wally here. <laughs> Wally, he's struggling. He's fighting. He is a um, Walmart. This guy, though, Marty, he has done a lot better than his brother. This guy here. This Niagara here. This is a Japanese beetle terror. The Japanese beetles just tore that one up. Here's the Niagara. To the top wire. Just got to get him past there and then I can start shooting cordons out there. This is a burnt leaf. Yeah. Niagara. Here's another Niagara. Pretty much to the top wire. There's another Niagara. He's to the top or second wire, the mid wire. Another Niagara. This is a Canadese. I bought it on clearance at Walmart. Well after I had already planted everybody. And he is fast. I call him Fleet. That one never really took off. And that one never really took off. Keep these weeds out from away from him. But yeah, so the wild grapevine never got grapes. But grew with a lot of canes. Got out of control a little bit, but never got grapes. Always got the blossoms, but never went to grapes. But yeah, there we are. So I'm a little disturbed that in making this video with you guys, uh, I've come across one vine that has obvious damage and I'm almost certain it's deer. So I am literally going to come over here and I'm going to grab my Bob X, shake it up a little bit. We are going to spray around to prevent any more deer damage. Because I can't have these deer tearing these things up. It's August. I only have maybe a month, a month and a half left of growing season before it's, uh, it's all over. So I need every ounce of uh, growth I can get right now. So we're going to 
go around, spray. The stuff stinks. The stuff stinks. And there we go. Okay, everything sprayed. It was that easy. It's not. It's not hard to do. It's just if you get rain and it washes it away, make sure you go back around, spray it again, because it really does use the scent to keep the things away. Uh, I'm going to check back with you guys in a couple weeks, see how the cordons have come along, and uh, maybe cut the growing tips off of them so that they, they stop expanding. Uh, hopefully get a couple more Niagara's to start the cordons, and that Canadise back there, get some cordons on that. Marty here should get some cordons here by the next time I make a video. Uh, so we'll uh, keep you updated on that. Watch those aphids, watch those uh, Japanese beetles, and watch those deer. Like I said, everything is after your vines. Uh, and I'm learning with you. So if you've if you got any better suggestions for me, comments, please. Give me some comments down there and let me know what's a better way of doing things. Um, and also, if you could help me out, click the subscribe button, share this, tell people about it. Uh, the more people that are going to know about this, the more people that are going to be able to help me. All right. Until then, got some Metallica playing in the background. Uh, this is Jay, Heavy Metal Vines, wishing you guys a uh, happy summer. Rock on.